Well, the World Series of Poker crowned its youngest winner ever yesterday. A 22-year-old Danish man took home the title. And while the stakes keep changing over the years, the table really hasn't. Until now, that is. Mike Hegedus has details today from Matthews, North Carolina. It has all the ambiance of a regular poker game in a regular casino. But it's not. The casino is Samo, but the table on which the game is being played is something new. It's called Poker Pro, the place where electronics play to a full house. So many of today's new casino players have an Xbox in their house and an iPhone in their pocket, and they walk in, and a casino can be kind of a slow-paced place compared to what they're accustomed to. And they see this, and they say, that's for me. Chris Halligan is CEO of five-year-old NASDAQ-traded Matthews, North Carolina-based Poker Tech, a gaming company that has developed software and built an electronic poker table that uses it. The cards are dealt face down on your screen so nobody else can see them. When it's your turn to act, you cup your hands over the cards and they peel up. Oh, look at that. With 9,000 poker tables and over 8,500 gaming locations worldwide, up from 5,000 tables just four years ago, Poker Tech has over 250 of its electronic version in use just since the second half of 2007, driving revenues up over 300%. Classified as a gaming device, it and the company both have to undergo strict regulatory scrutiny before being allowed onto the casino floor. Plus, it has to appeal not only to young players, but to traditionalists as well. It moves fast, no one ever makes a mistake, it's got all the sounds that I'm accustomed to, I can still really read tells on the other players, and I can make more money. So I've got an 82% chance to win this pot. I have 0% uh, chance I'm to win. Sorry. Look at that. While gaming locations can be tough okay. to get into, bars and restaurants are not. Poker Tech's head amusement game, same technology, with a broader market. It's probably 20 to 30,000, and right now we have over 850 of these placed worldwide. It's a place where technology meets the flop with an added advantage for the mature player. You know what, the cards are just 60% larger. They're just physically bigger, right? So and somebody like me can actually see them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, <laughs> on America, Mike Eggett is CNBC in Matthews, North Carolina.